Hey there folks, this is David on David's Brain. Welcome back to our ongoing Let's Play of Disco Elysium for the PS4. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe, comment, ring the bell, and contribute to our Patreon link in the description at the bottom. Alright, last time, managed to f find out about Kuno's dad. Yeah, sorry, you second shit. Sets of and yeah, learn from Joyce about the, uh, about the Pale, what exactly it is. Although I'm still getting some semblance of an idea as to what it is. What do you see? A woman or a kid? Understood. Two hundred. He might be right. Two hundred kilograms of living weight is unlikely. Maybe it wasn't. It could have been, but if it wasn't... A morbidly obese 250 kilogram man? Let's say it is a very... Possibly, yes. Interesting. Someone operating a workbench with a pedal? Like a joiner at the harbor? No, it's not. Perhaps it could be a driver. A driver would wear out the right shoe before the left. The accelerator is on the right. We should keep our eyes open around the traffic jam. See whether anyone strikes out. It. Mm -hmm. All right, nothing there. All right. Kuno's like Kuno's dad. Kuno doesn't give a fuck about anything. I took care of the drug situation. All right. So you got Kuno's kilo. Here is how we do it. First, give Kuno Kuno's kilo. Then Kuno gives you half back. That's how we split it. It's the best way, street way. Aren't you gonna ask how I got past your dad? Where down the street is? You said your little friend in dressed as a hooker, distraction style. That's some sick shit. And who wouldn't told you that? The elves that live in your head? Hmm. Kuno wants to hear all about it, but first we split the kilo, then we shoot the shit. Uh, by kilo, you mean gram, right? Kuno knows what Kuno means. Let's see. I'm keeping it. You don't need more drugs. You're 12. All right. Kuno knew you'd try that sneaky pig shit on him. Tell him, Kuno. Kuno's got brains. This shit doesn't surprise Kuno. So Kuno's going to give you one more chance. Know this, pig. Shit is major. Major fucking choice, pig. Kuno won't take this shit lightly. The pieces are moving, pig. This is fucking domino shit. Not like he thinks, but you can feel it. Somehow, this will change things. Tick, 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 tick. Decision time. What's it gonna be? You gonna fuck the Kuno? I'm not giving you this. All right, all right. You fuck the Kuno. Everybody, Kuno got fucked by his pocket pig. Just when we get in our business on, the pig throws it all away. I told you he can't be trusted. I told you, I told you, I told you, I told you, eat still the shit. Relax, see, we got plenty of kilo, kilo underground, in the tree. This ain't about that. This is about you and Kuno. You mismanaged the shit. Now everything is fucked between us. How are you going to make this up to the Kuno, huh? I looked in there. It's not the easy life you got going on in that apartment. The fuck do you know about Kuno's life? Kuno's got plans. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, we got plans. I met your old man. Yeah? How the fuck are you still alive, pig? Alright, Kuno, your dad's a half-dead alcoholic. He was sleeping under some clothes. What? His posture changes. The swaying rooster motion stops for a second. Then he gets it going again. Reorienting himself. Fuck right. Kuno's dad was sleeping like a bum. Kuno told you. Kuno's dad doesn't give a shit about anything. Fucking breaking and entering and shit. That's nothing to Kuno's dad. You got lucky, pig. Kuno knew this. Kuno's fucking violent fiend dad's been drinking hard lately. Kuno knew you have a way in. Narrow window. Kuno window. <laughs> Whatever scary thing he might have been, he's nothing now. Yeah. Kuno's dad is fucking nothing. Fucking coma shit. Stroke shit. Kuno's dad is so fucking violent. 
He's had a stroke many times. Shit. Kuno's gonna have one too. Gonna be just like Kuno's dad. Speed shit, crime shit, fucking on the bed. Kuno's gonna go out like Kuno's dad. Revishol West style. Stop saying all this sad shit, Kuno. Fuck are you talking, sad? Kuno's got hard shit, death shit, nothing shit. You don't have to turn into that. Get your fucking nun ass out of here before Kuno fucks it dead. You think as you took Kuno's speed, Kuno's gonna sob like a f turn into Kuno ain't turning into shit. Kuno is Kuno is that shit. Kuno won! Oh you won, Kuno! He did not win. There is a crack in there now, and it's spreading across the face of his certainty. Mm. There are tons of unpaid electric uh, un tons of unpaid utility bills there. Fuck right there were fucking three years or some shit. Let's see. Let me guess. Kuno's dad doesn't give a shit about them. Yeah, that's right. Kuno's dad doesn't give a shit about that electricity and light shit. Just wants to pound on people and drink. Let's see. And there's no place, and that's no place to live in. You have to find somewhere else. That's right. It's a shithole. Kuno's gonna move underground. Leroyim shit. Ancient shit. Kuno's gonna live in a fucking catacomb. Yeah, in a tomb, Kuno. Let's see. Fuck right there where? Fucking three years or some shit? Uh, find a job and pay him yourself. Your dad can't handle things anymore. Fuck that shit. Kuno's... Yeah, in a tomb, Kuno. I did right not... I did right not to give you the drugs. Let's... Well, let's end this. That didn't change shit, pig. That only made things worse. Fucking social worker shit. It doesn't work, pig. I sense it did. It doesn't work, Kuno. Only our shit works. Anyways, let's see. The fuck about it? Those contusions. Oh, let's see. Where's the rest of his armor? Kuno doesn't give a shit about the armor. How come? That fucking had one thing majorly wrong. Do you mutant? remember how he looked? Fucking growth hormone shit. He's a giant. The armor's too big for any man. Kuno doesn't give a shit about that freak armor. Kuno threw that shit away. Oh, come on. He's just pretending that he doesn't care because he's too small for the armor. You're just too small for the armor. Get the fuck out of here trying to fuck on me with that midget shit. Kuno's 12. He's huge. What are you? Fucking 80. When Kuno's 80, Kuno can fit four of you in Kuno. Fuck out of here. Trying to fuck on Kuno. Fuck out of here. What do you mean throw it away? Kuno tried to get the helmet on. It was too big. Kuno kicked that shit in the sea. Rugby style. That shit means nothing to Kuno. You threw it in the sea? Yeah, that shit means nothing to Kuno. Kuno doesn't give a shit about material shit. Kuno's a fucking monk. You wanna fuck on someone about that armor? Go fuck the mustache union fuck. The jolly troubadour shit at the gate. Who do you mean the troubadour? Yeah, cocking boot. You know that jolly union cow fucker? Came around talking about cows or some shit. Came around pretending like he cares about cows. So yeah. He's the one you want to talk to. He's fucking crazy about that armor shit. Coming here pretending like he likes cows. Trying to catch a peep of Kuro's armor. Go to the gate. Ask him yourself. Yes. This troubadour has it. You can feel it. There are contusions all over his body. Do you do that? What the fuck are you talking about? What is this contusion shit? He says you're stupid, Kuno. They want to make you stupid again. A contusion's a bruise. We're talking about the Marcia stones left on the corpse. Oh, did Kuno make your shit sniffing harder? Obstruction of shit sniffing? This is Kuno's kingdom. Kuno fucking rules here. Hmm. You hear the lieutenant hum. Alright. testing Kuno's patience here. Get lost! Yeah? The kingdom of Kuno? The fuck do you want with it? Yeah, whatever. Kuno doesn't... The fuck do you want... Good call, Pigma. Kuno doesn't fucking care. Let's see. I want to talk to you. What oh, about yeah. me? Kim, you're wearing a revolutionary air brigade jacket, aren't you? What? These? It's just seasonal clothing. And those look like airman pants. Good for storing tools in. Where is this going? Let's see. You see, Kim, I have this place in my head. 
where I develop new ideas and connections. Interesting. I think it's called the brain. It's no mere brain. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, a brain. Okay. And something happened in that brain? Yeah, my brain suspects that you had some kind of thing re with the revolutionary air brigades. I do not have a thing with revolutionary air brigades in particular. Just air brigades then? Okay, I wanted to become an aerostatic pilot. Then I turned 10 and realized we no longer have an air force. Are you sure the revolutionary has got nothing to do with this? Absolutely nothing. All right, thanks. My mind's satisfied. Good. All right. Good. Let's change the subject. What do you want to know? Let's see. You mean like a brief? There's no three days ago during a security guard or worker of some sort. They didn't identify. There's a strong prejudice against involving the RCM in what's seen as union matters. Just to be clear, we are per good. The smell of rotten food rises to greet you. You see soggy cartons, dirty rags, and organic waste. The container sounds a muffled gong. Uh, hopefully my little interaction there uh, when had an effect on Kuno. Definitely feel sorry for the little asshole. Let's see. Where's the rest of the armor? Go to the armory. Ask the jolly mask about the armor. Let's see. All right, let's go and talk about these lorry drivers here. See if they know anything. I'm still here, stuck in this damn jam, my man. What's up? You seem like a man who knows about drugs. Aw, oh, man. Me and narcotics go way back. That's a good time to surf the second waves my own consciousness, you know? But those days are behind me. There are other addictions in my life now. Why the inquiry, my man? Let's see. Let me let me be straight with you. I'm trying to figure out who's smuggling drugs out of Terminal B. We have a credible lead, sir. Someone on this roundabout is waiting for a bulk shipment from the harbor to load it on their lorry and drive it to Jamrock. Not me, man. No way. I don't need any trouble. Shit's bad enough anyway. This jam's got folks up in arms, and I'm afraid it's headed toward a conflagration. Wait, then why are you still hanging around? Gotta guard the stuff. Bosses don't look kindly on Mr. Gargo. It gives me time to work on my rhymes. A rhyme smith? This is quite credible. It goes with its cadence and way of speaking. Working on these rhymes clearly leads to muscular atrophy. Make sure you don't get hooked on poetry. Who do you think could be conducting the drug trade then? Look, man, I try to stay away from the criminal underbelly of Rebshaw. I'm a guest here. You really need to find another man to probe with those questions. Let's see. It's all for now. Bye. Let's see. Do I have anything uh, to boost conceptualization? All right. Still here, stuck in this damn jam, my man. What's up? All right, well, uh, let's see if we got something here. Wait. Ooh. There's something here, stored away in some dusty corner. It starts like... A mirror's temperature is always zero. It's ice in the veins. It's cameras and x-ray. Whoa. What else? 
And there's a chalice held out to you in silent communion. Silent communion. That's good. Where graspingly you partake of a shifting identity, never your own. Dang. That's some great shit. You come up with that yourself? <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see. I'm just a vessel for the muse, dude. Right, but really, no bullshit. That's great stuff. I want to know if it's yours. Yeah, the words are mine. Yeah. Mm. Fucking A. Seems they got you all wrong. Cops aren't much known for their artistic sensibilities these days. It's good to be a fellow poet. Someone with appreciation for real text. The others here, see? They don't really get it. Hey, man. Cops... Mm. Hey, man. Cops are human, too. Yeah, I guess I owe an apology for thinking otherwise. And again... Great shit. You found some common ground with this man. Even impressed him. The next time you look in the mirror, though, remember those words. Got it. Why does art inspire you so much? Hmm. It does, yeah, but what is art? Excellent question. Art is a diverse range of visual, literary, auditory, and performative creativity. It's an expression of imagination and technical skill. Additionally, it's history, criticism, and pure enjoyment. The whole world is art, man. In short, art is the highest form of human communication, representation, narrative, emotion, and agency intertwined. What I fit into the art world? I mean... Uh... Have you looked in the mirror lately? You have the exact features of a savage art critic. With that beard and those clothes, disheveled and prophetic, perhaps you should try to critique architecture too. Hold on, is architecture also art? Well, yeah, no, there's various different schools of architecture, yeah. Let's see. I guess I, uh, hold on, is architecture also art? Of course not. It's autism, box drawing, masturbation with a ruler and a sextant or whatever they use. You should demean and criticize the genteel institution of architecture while extolling the virtues of the pure arts. Okay, I'm getting mixed messages here, conceptualization. What about music? Is it art? Only the most experimental kind. Okay, so you're just an art... Okay, so you're an art snob then. Got it. I guess I have been feeling critical lately. Yes, you seek substance. No vapid representations and reproductions of social mores as made manifest in stuffy biennials. We're talking real, living art here. Become the art cop. Half art critic, half cop. Wait, but I don't have to be 100% cop to get the case finished? Don't I have to be 100% cop to get the case finished and all that? Quit being so indecisive. What are you going for here? Some kind of indecisive and camp aesthetic now? Strike a bold shape here. Go art or go home. Uh, let's see. If 50% art critics would need to free me from rote repetition. Mm, can't risk another couple diversion of this. Mm, all right. If 50% art critics would need to free me from rote repetition, so be it. Exactly. It's not only your duty to only catch the criminals of the street. You must also apprehend criminals of the printing press and the gallery. The trite and derivative artists and writers of the world. Go ahead and provide savage criticisms, art cop. The world is yours to rip to pieces and reassemble. Well, I am a critic, and the whole world has but that again, so is everyone else, so... Let's see. Actual art degree. Yeah, it's another couple type. The worst one. The most savage and brutal. The art cop. Nothing is good enough for him. Everything is shit. You have to enjoy an armada of adjectives to dis. Uh, you have to employ an armada of, uh, of adjectives uh, to uh, and to dis uh, to depict. And uh, you have, yeah, it's another copo type, the worst one, the most savage and brutal, the art cop. Nothing is good enough for him. Everything is shit. You have to employ an armada of adjectives to depict and demean the, the mediocrity of the works and visual institutions around you. Really flex that critical muscle until the vocabulary for punishing mediocrity becomes second nature. Here we go. Hmm.
the art, uh, let's see, actual art degree. Which one do I want? White Morning, the Jam Rock Shuffle, or actual art degree? Well, might as well get the mirror a try again. Uh, while I mean, while I have access to it. And yeah, I don't have to be the sap cop anymore. I can move on. I can be, I can be a better cop. Whether it's the art cop, the angry cop. Yeah, no, not angry. I'm done being angry. Anger isn't cool. It's a tool in the box. You don't need to take it out every time. It may be a hammer, but not everything is a nail. The angry hammer. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, the check said it was a boost to ele it was it relied on electrochemistry. Kim tries not to look at your broken down bathroom door. Kim also tries not to look at the pile of tape viscera on the carpet, or the weird suitcase on the hat rack, or the potted plant dying in the corner. But it's all just too morbid to ignore. The man is finding it hard not to trip on the tape and not to send any of the bottles rolling across the floor. Where unidentifiable sludge makes it hard for him to breathe smells of vomit in here you're looking at the destruction <sighs> i'm sorry for this no problem officer oh i mean i am apologetic for something that i actually did do you know a mirror hangs on the bathroom wall in it your face adorned with the expression. All right, electrochemistry, hey. Eh? All right, this could be my fight. Uh, actually, be my chance to get that stupid smirk on my face. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. In it, your face adorned with the expression. All right, here we go. Still not happening. It won't come off that easy. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try one more time here to get uh, get this look on my face so I could move on. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. In it, your face adorned with the expression. It's like something snaps in you. A nerve ending. A thought. A sadness. Your face in the mirror is suddenly clean of the leer that had distorted it for God knows how long. 
Just like that, it's over. The running gag that your life had become. A sad old man looks back at you. Mm. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. In it, your face. Now without the expression. It's just hairy. All right, let's see here. All right, I can overcome this. Let's see, the Jamrock Shuffle, actual art degree. Or white morning. Let's see. Actual art degree. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. In it, your face. Now without the expression. All right, well, at least I finally got that look on my face. And I don't have to worry about electro uh, uh, about electrochemistry anymore. Mm. All right. Getting, uh, getting that expression off, a good first step. Let's see, sorry cop, let's see. Let's see. Look, something is really bugging me. Are we or are we not from the same police station? God damn it, you leave her alone. Keep your weird bullshit to yourself and be professional for once, for fuck's sake. 
Can I actually help you with something? Yes, of course. Preposterous. I mean, you would remember if they were, right? Who forgets their squad mates? That's not possible. Hmm. Again? I can't believe this shit. Can I drop the 20 real? Yep, 20 real for the night. Good. You got the room for the night, but remember, you'll need another 20 real tomorrow. Noted. Oh, hello, dear. There. Looks like the circus left town, but the clowns are still here. The man hanged in the backyard. Did you do it? The pretty boy. You guys really love talking about that pretty boy. Funny, but my partner and I have a serious matter to discuss with you. Why is there a container belt around the dead man's neck? Container belt? Like we use in the harbor? Yeah, why? Because we took it from the harbor where we work. Then we went out back and used it to hang him. As he speaks, his fists contract, going through the pulling motion again, savoring it. We did this together, all of us, until he was dead. That's why there's a container belt around his neck. <laughs> so you just confessed to murder? God damn right. I. No. These seven honest men have equally come forth. They told you what happened so that you don't waste any more of your time. You murdered him just like that. No remorse. How many people have you sent to the shade? Ever felt remorse for them? Chaise Electrique is the method of capital punishment in Revachon under the coalition. During the suzerain's reign, it used to be the firing squad. Or send them to Reunion to rot. For 20 years. For life. Uh, and, re and Reunion, what's that? The River Esperance Correctional Facility, a military prison run by the coalition, dubbed Reunion by the inmates. The origin of the name is unknown. Look, from what we do is different. We enforce the law, you just kill people like it's nothing. But you see, a law, lawman, is something people agree upon. And here in Martinez, we agreed that this man had to die. Uh, who called the shots that Are night? There will be no singling anyone out. You can't arrest a hardy boy without arresting all hardy boys. Do you think you could do that? Do you think you could arrest them all? Let's see. I don't have to. One of them was more complicit than the others. That's for the courts in Le Jardin to decide. Not for the officer making an arrest. Which we all know you won't be. What you can do right now is go back to your station and write a report. No, no. We'll stay here and discuss what happened that night. And when did this hanging incident occur? I don't have to keep answering his questions. I know, Lizzie. Relax. We killed him last Sunday night. Seemed like a good way to end the week. How long have you known him? Known him? We don't associate with scum like that, asshole. Yeah! Who do you think we are? What? He came round about three weeks ago when that Pines cow first sailed into town. Happy? By the Pines cow, you mean Joyce Messier, the representative for White Pines? The same company you are striking against? No. I mean the Pines cow. The stupid ass cow they sent in to fuck us over. But you know what? Why don't you ask her about the pretty boy? I'm sure she has interesting things to say when you ask her hard enough. 
That's enough insinuation for today, Titus. Officer, your interview is drawing to an end. Don't waste your last questions. Why'd you kill him? Why? Because he was worthless mercenary scum. And he stepped out of line in my town. So he was a mercenary, that's it. And he stepped out of line. What kind of mercenary? The kind that shows up when you start a strike. The experienced kind, too. Had Kohoi and Semenin written all over him. ex oranese special forces. A live grenade! Right here at our bar! I can't prove it. But I know he was sent by the Wild Pines. They hire merc shit like that. Story of every strike from here to Samara. Hold on, how do you even know he was in special forces? Because one night he walked straight up to the mic and said, I'm on that goddamn special forces and I'm gonna fuck you all. Really? Yeah, really. I had a gin tonic up there, sang some orange paratrooper song and said he's gonna fuck everyone. We couldn't believe it either, but he fucking did, right there. Like some kind of animal. This is a serious violation of the karaoke code. Okay, besides crimes against karaoke, what did he actually do wrong? Wrong? He harassed women. Raped one. Harassed workers. Threatened to kill some as a warning. Oh. There's a slight unease in him suddenly. He regrets mentioning the rape. To kill us all. If we don't open the gates, if we don't let the scabs in, if we don't bend over. And that was before he started coming here. Okay, now this... Uh, yeah, he said it was his favorite joint now. Started coming here every night, drinking, grabbing girls, grabbing a lost big karaoke right there on the stage. Did you grab someone? Yeah, this girl's on the mic, a beautiful girl. Young, gets to the second verse of Love Her Leg. The fucker grabs her legs, starts screaming, Show me your kind! Why don't you show me your kind? Then he gets knocked in the head with a wine bottle, doesn't even fall down! Uh, uh, was this the same girl who was sexually uh, raped, you said? Aren't you fucking listening? My man is talking to you. He took care of it. They got the girl out before anything else could happen. Yeah! Me and Eugene got around. Aren't you fucking listening? Not right, but who did he rape then? This is a very serious allegation here. No. You're not getting the name. That's a Martin A's matter. And I'm not discussing it with you clowns. Despite the stonewalling, you can slip one more question in. I'm going to ask for one last time. Who did the dead man rape? Titus, do not answer. You have been forthcoming enough. Fuck off, Carl. She's gone through enough without you harassing her, too. She doesn't need more embarrassment. Oh. What are you talking about? Embarrassment. If someone has been sexually assaulted, we need to. What you need is to get the fuck out of my face. I've had enough of explaining myself to you fucks. He's dead. It's done. As you can see, these men can only take so much baseless scrutiny. I'm doing my best to keep the situation civil, but... It won't be for long, she means. Uh, uh, how did you kill him? We hanged him up by his neck. Until he got real still. Wasn't that obvious, copper? Didn't they teach you anything at the cop school, idiot? The autopsy showed there were no ligature marks. His hands were not tied. Can you explain that? Um, we... <sighs> Look, I'm not gonna play 20 questions with you, capo. I'll say it again. We killed him. Yeah, I knocked him out. Came up behind him and clapped him in the back of the head. He went down like a sack of sun. That's right, lawman. And then we hang the fuck. 
Let's see. Mr. Uh, Mr. Tats, did, uh, what did you use to knock the victim out? My fucking elbow, Copper. Samaran boxing a style. Samaran boxing, or Sambo, is an eloquently violent set of one-on-one -on -one fighting moves originating from a Samaran Isola. Sambo style implies stealth, cleverness, and cool. Where did this action take place? Right fucking here. Eugene already told you that the fuck had started coming to our bar. Yeah, man, weren't you listening? Hmm. Right, I have other questions about the lynching. Like what, copper? Let's see. We had the autopsy. Um, yeah, that's right, lawman. I got a feeling this is the only tr uh, chance we're gonna have to do this here. So, all right, seventy-two percent chance. Strange answer to tight hands. Titus is solid as a rock, and so are a few others, but... Alright, first, tell me who's solid. Alan, who looks like he might be Titus's right-hand man. The least ancient bunch. Definitely not his first time being questioned by the police. Shanky, this little rat-faced fellow is solid too. Always fidgety, yes, but no change there. Eugene, him neither. Mostly keeps to his tomato juice or whatever he's got there. Who's cracking under the pressure? <laughs> this one. He's sweating profusely and has difficulty breathing. They've smartly kept him out of this in conversation thus far. Definitely the weakest link in the chain. Let's see. Hey, you. You having trouble breathing over there? No. Of course he's having trouble breathing. Just look at how fucking fat he is! <laughs> Fuck off, Shanky. Angus is a powerful guy. All muscle. Keep your eye on this powerful guy. Sooner or later, he's going to break like a piece of twig. There's something you're not telling me. And fuck you, too, copper. Picking on Angus like this. We're done with this schoolyard shit. And just so you know, he doesn't have trouble breathing. This one is a stone wall. You won't get more out of them about the night of the murder. Not yet. Right. Like what, copper? So, uh, why don't I just arrest you then? Yeah, lawman. Why don't you? It's almost an anthropological sight, watching him try to assert dominance over you. Not in the arresting mood? A fearful readiness, like an electrical charge, raises hairs in the room. Easy. Walk back from the provocation. They're armed, and they outnumber us. The lieutenant tries to establish eye contact with you. All right, easy now. Let's just talk here. I'm not here to go and start anything here. Wise move. You made the right choice there. Now make another one and get the fuck out of our booth. We're not gonna do this again. So what are we going to do now? Nothing. Your investigation here is done. Leave Martinez, go back to your stations where you belong. I think we're going to stick around, thanks. Some things don't add up here, Titus. I've done this job for long enough to know that people don't just confess to first-degree murder. Even if it is a group responsibility, we're going to look into this. Yeah, it seems pretty clear that Titus and his guys are trying to cover for someone. The real killer. Good luck with that. You've heard everything a rent-a-cop is gonna hear from us. Real law officials. You're lucky you didn't get a beaten. Let's see. I'm going to take off. Uh, authority, godly. Oh boy. Establish authority. Discuss the eighth hardy. Week when you first met. All right. All right. Let's see. Anything to boost my authority.
Let's see. Prove your authority to Titus Hardy. You have to gain authority in Titus' eyes for the investigation to advance. Soften him up first. Maybe investigate the crime scene or the body. Look for a witness. Get offered to the union boss or the company rep. Uh, tie them to any other crimes. Talk to Titus to establish authority in Hardy Boy's eyes. Behind the dock workers, a ceiling height window. The hawthorn branches scrape the glass like bony fingers. There's a little slide panel up there to let some air in. No need to open it in spring. It's still too cold outside. Yeah, it's not time yet. Let's see. Perception. Oh, yeah, very low. Okay, yeah. I've got nothing to say to you. Why are you wasting your time? Like I already told you, I suggest... Even though she has excellent control, you caught her off guard. Push her some more. You are not here to... You set the pace and the topic of these conversations here. He said no such... Calm. Dirty tactics, officer. All right, got some information there about the about the case. That's good. Can I help you? another thing? Great. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, it seems pretty clear that, yeah, uh, uh, Titus and his boys seem to be telling the truth on this one. Uh, their body language gives it all away. They uh, they definitely don't seem like the actor types, so... And I have a pretty good idea who that uh, soldier raped. Yeah, sounds like a uh, pretty good guess. Intricate web of blue. It still kind of looks like a man. gone. For you to discover, someone who knows about history could tell you. Doesn't seem like I'll be able to get more out of, it, uh, out of those two. Yeah, our mysterious smoker definitely seems like the best bet. Now it's turning into a kind of a snow limbo, man. What's on your mind? Entrapment is a practice whereby an officer of the law induces a person to commit a criminal offense that the person would have otherwise been unlikely to commit, usually through some trickery, persuasion, or fraud. We have a credible lead, sir. Someone on the... All right, well... All right, back to interrogating the uh, other lorry drivers about the uh, about the uh, about the drug about the drug trafficking, about the drug ingredients, right? And also asking her about uh, about the the pail. At least we finally got that stupid expression off my face. Ugh.
Cole de Mamatakwa, actual art degree, and the 15th Endo Tribe. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna mold uh, that information over with. Yeah, pretty easy to see why that uh, why that guy was murdered. And yeah, I'll see if I can find somebody else to go and corroborate their story. So until next time, folks. This is David on David's brain. See what I see. Ya. Bye bye.